1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? You, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, man. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch the car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you.
freeze. I said freeze! Where's everyone going? Bingo? Like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Humans, let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up! Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. 
Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the Force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not dying. Do something, Pop! After you! Now! You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood? Oh. <sighs> 
¡Rápido! ¡Carra! ¡Usa los músculos! ¡Rápido, apúrense! ¡Por aquí! ¡Rápido, rápido! ¡Por aquí! ¡Por aquí! Take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler. The master of this fine, religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnapped the President's daughter in order to give her our power, and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. To us. Don't worry. We got into this mess. We can get out of it. Uh. What are we gonna do, Leon? I hate to say it, but we're sandwiched, all right. Quick, in that cabin. <laughs> world, eh? Well, I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics, too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she... well, you know. Don't worry. She's cool. Eh, never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. <gasps> Look! 
Ashley, upstairs. Okay, it's game time. Vamos. Looks like they're backing off. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out. So I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. side of the bridge. Yeah. got something for you guys. Uh, what? Oh, shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with a prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply... Become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. <coughs> you all right? I'm fine! Leave me alone! Ashley, wait! <gasps> Ah! 
Seriously! What's going on? Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you. What a pleasant surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Get rid of our American friend. Leon, you okay? <clears throat> Yeah. We have to get that parasite out of your body. Yeah. But before that, I gotta save Ashley. Fine. Let's split up. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. Junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. Feeling. Like a million bucks. I thought you were gonna die. 
All right. Guess I'm up. You okay? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back! Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. Very cute. We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? Wait! Behind us! I know! Just hold on! Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, uh, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. 
Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. <laughs>